Hi peeps, I'm so excited about the cheese I've got for you today. Um, this is actually take two of the video because I just knocked over a glass of red wine and I was like, no, 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 not the cheese, not the cheese, but the cheese is safe. Um, I went to Marks and Spencer's, I saw it, I thought I'm having it, it's truffle brie. <gasps> so this truffle brie is made by Butlers who made the Lancashire cheese actually that I did in the last video. Um, they're a Lancashire creamery. They make a brie that they sell more widely called Berlin Bloom, I think. I've never had it. Um, but this truffle brie is made exclusively for M&S. So brie um, usually ages over about um, four to five weeks. The mould develops on the outside. I have had people say to me, you know, do you eat, do you eat the rind? Now, what I should say is something like, well, you know, it's absolutely perfectly fine to eat the rind, but if you don't want to eat the rind, you know, it's, it's a personal choice, eat the cheese your way. But what I'm going to say is, are you seriously going to get a piece of brie and then, like, cut the rind off and, like, leave it on your plate? You are a child. You're not even fit to be allowed near cheese if that's, if that's the situation with you. And I really don't want you watching my video. In fact, you're not fit. You're not worthy. So if, if you cut the rind off brie and leave it on your plate, then... Turn away now. Turn it off. So, you can make brie anywhere. It doesn't have um, a PDO, apart from brie de mer. Um, so, you do get brie made in England. You get Cornish brie, probably the most famous one. Um, Baron Bygod, I think it's Cornish. You get Scottish brie. Uh, Clava brie is one. I've never had a Lancashire brie before, so this is going to be new for me. With brie, it's... You should be getting flavours um, of things like mushroom, which is probably why the truffles work with it. Um, and you should be getting some flavours of what the cow's been eating, lots of like meadow and hedgerow and grass. We, we tend to sell brie in this country sort of underripe, and I think that's because of the of the packaging, because, because brie is made in a wheel. You, you, when you're having a slice, you need the, the outside and the inside because you've got different texture so i think it has a reputation for being quite a bland cheese um but actually as brie matures it can be you know a lot more rich and um a lot more runny uh if with what they do with the truffle brie is they cut the brie in half and then they fill it with usually mascarpone and black truffles and then put the lid back on so you will see this if you go into like one of the french um from argeries you see these like huge wheels of truffle brie and they're like collapsing and they're gorgeous i i, I have been able to get some from argery marylebone does one i think um paxton whitfield i'm not quite sure so if you can get hold of some of that amazing um in terms of drinks so remember what's local goes with what's local so if you are having something like a normandy brie then you would have um something like a normandy cider um, and then if you're getting cornish brie obviously you can get cornish cider all those acidic tastes like apples like grapes like pears go really well with brie and um, if you don't alcohol you can have apple juice um with the truffles the obvious one is champagne and there's red wine all over that label as well now. Champagne with, with the truffle brie. There's a cheese called um, Brillat Savarin, which is a, like a triple cream French cheese. It's gorgeous. And if you can get that with truffles, you have won. Drive past your old high school, wave it out the window at your teachers because you have lived your best life. Seriously, that stuff is like, you oh, die. Um, Wine-wise... Um, most of the recommendations were around like things that were oaked and things that were aged, which I'm not really a fan of. So I went to the wine shop and I said, what do you recommend? He recommended um, a Rioja that he said was very oaky, um, which I thought still could be a little bit too light because with the truffle brie, you need to match your drink to the truffles because they're obviously the more dominant flavour. Um, he recommended a Bordeaux, there was a Burgundy, and then he said, oh, I've got a wild card. So I thought, I'll go for that, I'll go for that. And so he recommended this... Um, Sorry, the wine got spilt. Um, this um, Romanian Pinot Noir. Um, now, I've been to Romania and the food there, I don't eat meat, so I really struggle, but it is like very rich, lots of pork, lots of potatoes, really good potatoes that they have in the Carpathians. Um, so I thought, yeah, yeah I, can, I can see that. I can see how that would work. Um, truffle goes well with fat, which is why you'll get like truffle butter, um, truffle oil, truffle cheeses, and it also goes really well with potatoes. So I've got these little new potatoes here, which I have steamed, but you can you can actually put oil on them or butter and like roast them in the oven so they kind of crisp up a bit. They would be gorgeous. So um, let's, let's get into the cheese. Wow, wow, wow. I'll cut it in half so that we can have a look at the inside. I've had this out of the fridge for a while. It's, oh, it's lovely and bright, lovely and soft. 
Oh my God. Apparently truffles smell like shit, don't they? That's what, apparently what makes them attractive to us. So um, I don't know if you can see that because my camera isn't very good, but you, can you see there's a layer of um, cream cheese in the middle with um, black truffles in and then the brie around it. It's sort of collapsing a little bit here, um, so, but not so much here. So the brie could be like um, getting a bit overripe, but that's fine. It's not, when you start getting like yellow and orange on the top, that's when it's really past its best, but um, this is gonna be fine. Oh my God. It's just absolute decadence. Oh wow, so the, the smell obviously, the, 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 the truffles are the, are, are the main thing. They, they sort of really overpower it. Mm. 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 I don't know what cream cheese that they've put in there. Um, and I don't think it's mas mascarpone, it's got um, a, a more of an acidity to it. Lovely and ripe, lovely and gooey. And obviously the truffle flavour permeates then into the, into the rest of the brie. And I'm, I'm trying to appreciate the Lancashire cheese as well. Mm, mm, mm. God. Wow. This is incredible. <sighs> yeah, let me try and get some of the wine. You know what, he's right. It's sort of, um, yeah, you, you, you probably need something that's got a lot of body to it to um, to sort of match up or stand up to the truffles. I'm going to try, just because I'm, I'm not familiar with the Lancashire Brie, I'm just going to try like a little bit of the rind. It's a lovely white round, rind, lots of um, bloom to it. It's actually a very nice sort of floral rind. Normally you kind of get a little bit of chalk there, don't you, and liminess, but it's actually really nice and very floral. That is gorgeous, that's really good. M&S, wow. Um, so, if you can pick these up. It was either £4 or £4.50, but you can kind of get truffle brie um, anywhere. Well, from a good cheesemongers, if you if you want to see a picture of them when it's been sliced off the wheel and what it looks like when I finish with it, if you look at my um, blog, Cheese Delicious at Blogspot, there's a picture of the stuff I bought in Marylebone, which just like collapsed onto the paper, and you could have like eaten it with a spoon, um, and, and no one would have no one would have blamed you. Um, and then I'd also recommend like the Brillat Savarin with truffles. In, in, in fact, that cheese on its own is is great. It's beautifully creamy. This is um, more more of a creamy brie than. Um, I would expect from an English English brie. English brie, yeah, can be like a little bit more yellow looking, and this is nice and nice and clear. Mm. It's good, and it's got a, a, a slight like ammonia to it, and something else like, mm. yeah, that, the, the the mushroom coming through from the brie as well as as from the truffles, and it's like umami. That's the word, isn't it? It's almost got like a bit of like soy sauce or fermentation. Gorgeous. So, I'm going to get on with this cheese. I hope you've enjoyed the video. 